Hey everybody, y'all Americans out there, and you know who I'm talking about. Oh, I'm walking my dog this morning, and it's 40 degrees here in North Carolina. But uh, I don't want to talk to you about something. Uh, I have a lot of questions on my mind, and I was just watching Doug and Stacy homestead off grid, and he was talking about how uh, he heard or discovered or and read in the uh, journals and papers and whatever about eggs and uh, how they're going to cause uh, blood clots. You know, uh, I knew a man that ate eight, two eggs every day and yeah, he died. He was 101 and uh, sure enough, you know, those eggs got him. But uh, you know, I ate two eggs every day along with a couple pieces of toast and sometimes bacon, sometimes sausage. And uh, man, I love it when I go out to eat because I get it all. I get eggs and grits and butter and biscuits and jelly and sauces and bacon. I, I load it up, uh, you can probably tell. But uh, anyway, uh, that that just really ticked me off. You know, uh, weaponizing of food and stuff, it's, uh, it's crazy. You know, uh, I'm out here on a walk walking my dog and you know, I'm probably gonna get lung cancer or, or colon cancer or something from breathing the air this morning. And uh, I, I've got a leash in my hand. It's made of plastic and some rubber and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, it's made out of petroleum. That dreaded stuff is gonna kill us. So my left hand will probably get uh, some kind of infection and <laughs> fall off in the middle of the night. You know, I wake up in the morning and say, hey, where's my hand? And then my dog's out here with me. And uh, my dog and I love each other. And we fight and we play and we play rough sometimes. He loves to play rough. Why is that? Because he's a boy. Boys love to play rough. So anyway, the dog will probably jump up on the bed some night and grab my throat and kill me. And uh, I'm walking on the ground, so you know we put people in the ground when they die. But uh, you know we're gonna have to figure out a way to to walk and not be walking on the ground. Oh, speaking of dying, look at that cemetery back here in the woods. So uh, you know we gotta figure out how to not to walk on the ground because, well, I am wearing shoes for protection, but. Uh, you know, that's, that, they'll probably kill me too. And my feet will fall off or, or worse yet, they may uh, fester up and something and then I can't walk at all. So if I did that, then I'll be put in a wheelchair. And uh, the wheelchair, uh, I have a wheelchair at the house that, hmm, get rid of this mud puddle, that uh, I like sitting in. I don't need a wheelchair. But if I ever do need a wheelchair, it'll probably kill me because the seat is made of canvas and the wheels are made of metal and the, on the wheels so I can push it is uh, some uh, rubber petroleum, petroleumized material and uh, if I use my hands without gloves, then uh, I'll probably get cancer and my hands will fall off or, or I could just die in the wheelchair. But uh, there's a lot of things, you know, going on in the world today that uh, weaponize this, weaponize that. You know, uh, it's it's pathetic, really, when you when you think about it. Uh, last when I woke up this morning, I was an American, and uh, when I went to bed last night, lo and behold, I was an American too, and I've lived over in. Uh, uh, Islamic and socialist countries and uh, you know it, it didn't make me want to change you know oh, there goes my dog oh. <laughs> oh, what's this oh. there he goes yeah, that's my dog <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> he gives them dogs fits. You know, but all that exercise he's doing, he'll probably die of a heart attack by the time we get back to the house. And uh, all this barking is probably uh, too high of a decimal and I'll be deaf by the time we get to the end of the fence. So, uh, you know, we just can't let uh, uh, fear and things like that to control us because that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about control. Uh, if you want to control somebody, then you make them fearful. Uh, look at all these uh, uh, people in Germany that, that uh, World War II, uh, they, they're doing the same thing here nowadays. They're making us afraid and everything. Then next thing you know, we'll be forced to line up and go to concentration camps. If you've seen uh, some things on TV about concentration camps, because this is the week 75 years since the Jews were liberated from their concentration camps. Man, I tell you, never put much thought into it and thought, well, that's history. But, uh, you know, history, they say, repeats itself. And here we are, we got it going on in America today. Uh, there's a handful of people that uh, just love control. And you know that for a fact, because there's people in your family that love to control you. So anyway, and uh, I've been uh, looking at the fuel, the gas prices and everything, the fuel prices, they just the skyrocketed. I've never seen them over $3, $4 a gallon. I remember paying 15 cents a gallon when I was uh, a young driver. And uh, then it went up 98 cents eventually. And I thought, golly, I'm just gonna stop using gas. Well, that's what they want you to do. Well, I didn't stop using gas and here I am paying well, let's say I paid 309 the other day in South Carolina, and around here it's 336 in Western North Carolina. Uh, but you know what? I'm not going to stop using it. I'll just uh, put on a credit card or something, <laughs> which is ludicrous. I pay cash for gas, <coughs> but uh, you know there's a war on cash too. If you watch uh, uh, Pat Boone commercials, there's a war on cash. And uh, I was asking my, or telling my wife this morning, you know, who are these millionaires and billionaires to get together in a room somewhere and talk about weaponizing cash, uh, going to a cashless society and things like that? Well, you know, I, I love my debit card and, and uh, things like that, you know, but that's as far as I really want to go. I don't want to get into Bitcoin and all that stuff. I went to a timeshare presentation the other day and and I paid good hard cash well I didn't buy one but they want you to pay good hard cash for points so you can stay at these really nice hotels and we stayed at a really nice hotel uh, for $299 for the weekend down in Orlando Florida and uh, it was really nice we had a one bedroom it was nice but uh, you know my wife and I looked at each other and said we're days in kind of people, and uh, that's true. So anyway, another question I have is, is why is the government in uh, the fuel, the gas and oil business? You know, it's just another thing to uh, use on us, the American people and the people of the world, because other go <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> other governments are in the oil business too. And in fact, we, uh, we can buy it, we can sell it, or we can give it away. And uh, you know, it's, uh, that's, not, that's not how it's supposed to work, you know? If uh, the oil companies are, gas, are proud, uh, gouging us, and the gas gouging and all that stuff, you know, then what do you do? You go to a gas station and you get gas, and over here it's a dollar ninety-nine, and over there it's three fifty. What do you do? You don't go to the gas station where it's three fifty. I'm going to go to the gas station that's paying, that's charging three fifty for it, because I want to save the planet. No, no, that's not how it works. Uh, that's not how life works. Uh, you go to the one that charges a dollar ninety-nine because you want to uh, hold on to all the 
hard-earned money that you can because we work hard for our money <clears throat> and uh, you know and in fact we all work hard for our money whether we work or, or, or don't uh, the guy that sits behind the desk all day and pushes uh, pushes pencils <laughs> or uh, does math and figures and does taxes and works on world economic uh, uh, budgets and everything like that you know they're working and the guy that's uh, digging ditches and uh, the person that's out there walking dogs and things like that well you know they're working and it's hard work we work hard you know the Bible says that from uh, Adam and Eve had it made in the garden they just uh, went around naming animals and plants and eating and and walking with the Lord and everything like that and uh, well when when man sinned then uh, we had to go to work imagine that wouldn't it be great if we had realized what we had in the garden well anyway all that's going to come back to us one day because why history repeats itself so that's the way it is so uh, I had a few things I wanted to get off my chest this morning and uh, I've got a lot more I don't normally make these kind of videos and I'm holding it in my hand so I get close and then I back off because I can't hold it out there all the time because I eat eggs and bacon and bread and I drink coffee and I take medicine and um, I walk my dog and, and I love my wife and uh, I love my children and grandchildren who, by the way, are great. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur, a, a military man. I was a truck driver for a while and uh, I live up here in the mountains of North Carolina so I guess now I'm a mountain man maybe I'll grow me a beard and uh, when it snows get on my bearskin boots and go out and shoot something wild you know uh, speaking of wild I used to be wild when I was a young guy but uh, you know I never thought about uh, being a woman I've always been a man I've been a man my whole life and when I was little you know zero to to 21 or whatever you know i was a boy and uh, that's that's i don't know that's just the way it works that's funny how it works you know that uh, that we would uh, only have two genders in the world you know and i never wish that boy i wish there was more genders because i like to marry somebody else but uh now i fell in love with a woman and we had three children together so anyway I'll probably get a lot of hate mail for that but that's okay you know that's not my problem that's that's your problem and uh, so I'm on my way back to the house now and I'm gonna sit down and uh, post this video and uh, Doug and Stacy I, I love your show what else can I say I watch it every day so everybody out there that's watching this and listening to me i really do appreciate it don't forget to subscribe and like because i like being liked and i like being subscribed on so i'm gonna let her go we'll talk to you later y'all have a good day